All right, here we are out here this morning and uh, putting the old Peterson Field Guide to Medicinal Plants and Herbs of Eastern and Central North America by uh, Stephen Foster and James A. Duke. I've read several of Dr. Duke's books and uh, I recommend this one as far as living in the Ozarks and using for plant references. And here we are. See, we're looking at them right here. See? This is the dun, 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 purple coneflower, Echinacea purpia. It has a little L word back there. I don't know what that means. Monk. It's an aster family. I knew that. I mean, that's like, remember Easter? When Easter comes up, you get all the flowers. Well, that's what this is, aster. So I just think of the word Easter. So, we have an assortment here. We actually, we have all three of them here, believe it or not. See, that's pretty accurate. Like I said, I like checking these books out and making sure the accuracy. So they actually have an assortment. All three of them are in this little patch. So they're probably growing an assortment. Right? See, remember the bees? The bees love them. Every time I see the bees, I just... That's what I usually use the uh, petals and some of the pollen and leaf parts for. Now, that might not necessarily always be a good rule, but as far as uh, I'm concerned so far, that works. So, But we have the pale purple coneflower. We have the narrow leaf purple coneflower. And then we have the purple coneflower. And it says that it's found all the way from Ohio to Louisiana. And I'm in the middle of all that so yeah and it does have a few medicinal purposes of course and we'll go over that I'm just gonna come out here and collect a few with my gleaning bag I didn't bring my scissors today so I'm gonna have to use my knife but uh, we're gonna collect a few portions of these flowers as you can see there's a whole bunch of them over there and, uh, and then there's some right here but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know the accuracy of this book that the ones that I recommend and uh, I've been using this for a while. I know a lot of the plants in here, but it's always good to know some extra uses and relatives and some, you know, there's some other stuff in here. You know, what's on the menu. That's what I call it. And it's color-coded, so you can look on the bottom there. It's like, oh, okay. But uh, I thought I'd post this up and uh, let you guys know the accuracy of some of the uh, reference guides that I use. And uh, that's what I said. I, I highly recommend this. This is to me, it's worth 20 bucks. It says 21 right there. So there's the two guys in the back. But yeah, Dr. James Duke. I read a lot of his botanical books and stuff. And uh, I uh, I recommend this one out of all of them, to be honest with you, because it's relative to the location that we live in. Remember, we're in the United States. You know, central United States, Ozarks area. So uh, yeah, the best-selling field guides of all time, Peterson. Okay. So this is a Peterson guide, basically, and they they have several of them. I don't use the mushroom one. I just use the local mushroom book. I mean, I'm sure there's more, but uh, so let's get on with the uh, harvesting some of these heads and uh, plant materials so we can get some medical extracts. And uh, you know how I do it. I got my gleaning bag with me, so we're just going to cut a few of the heads off here below the stem, usually about, you know, an inch or two down. And... Uh, I'm going to take a few with me and collect some leaves and things like that. Alright, here we are back out here. The purple cone flower. Antidepressant medication. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to snip us some heads here. I'll pull them over here on the ground. That way when I snip them, they just fall off to the side. We're just going to take a couple. We ain't taking all of them. <laughs> I'm down here in the old uh, gleaning bag. Uh, we can put our cuttings. They got plenty. They ain't gonna miss a couple, right? All righty. Let's see how much more trouble I can get in. Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting my uh, antidepressant medication. 
You gotta go to the get got the doctor and get the crazy. Nope, I'm getting mine uh, direct. <laughs> right, here we go. This ought to make good easy work of it. Just hanging over the road here. Just snip these real quick. They smell good. Probably gonna get me on camera. <laughs> get them. See how big these are? Oh yeah. We're gonna dry these out and crush them up. Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh. There we go. See if we just ooze worms. See if we just pile these up, right? Put them in our bag here. Yeah, you know that good camera crew I got. That's plenty. I can't do anything with that. It looked like something you'd see on a lady's hat from Hee Haw or something. Okay. Let's see if we can got any white ones. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It says it's used for uh, a few other things. Dietary supplements. Antidepressant medication. Yes, I don't want to feel depressed. All right, what else we got here? Uh, yeah, there's a big bad purple one over there. Oh yeah. We got the white ones. Polydia, let's see, we've got, okay, now remember, you got the white one, which is Polydia. Then you got the thin one, which is in the middle, that's Angustifolia. And then you got the big bad purple people eater, right? Okay, well you don't always have to do it, take the tops off. What you can do is actually, without messing the plant up too bad. Okay, you just do it like this. Find you one that looks pretty good. Just take the petals. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Just take the petals off. Okay, that's what we're after anyway. I don't want really all the rest of it. And just put it in your gleaning bag. You can see right here, I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah, that one didn't work out too good. I pulled the head off. It's kind of a two-handed deal. There we go. So now we're ready to go. We got a full, uh, <laughs> full month supply of uh, antidepressant medication. Hoo hoo!